Now, French Spaniels are not 100% maintenance free. We already talked about you gotta, you know, you gotta check their ears and, and clean them out. And then their, their hair gets mad at sometimes, and, and if you brush it out and, and keep it nice, uh, you'll have no problems. This item, this tool, is called the Furinator. Works real nice. You, you, it's just more for fine work, and you can kind of strip the dog down and uh, just kind of pull it like this. And then when you get ready to clean it out, it's got a little button right here you push. That kind of pushes out all the hair that's caught in the thing, and you can clean it out. But before I would use a furinator, I would use this one. This is kind of, you can see, I got a little hair. Uh, Claire actually ran into the ditch, and there was these little tiny burrs in there, and they really make knots. But, but this is it's not even close. And I don't know what this is called. Let me see. It says, can you see that on there? If you're trying to look at it, that's the only one. I got it upside down. Maybe that works better. So that's all I know about it, but I found this in a store once. And this is kind of a cutting stripper. These blades are sharp. And it won't hurt the dog, but it hurts you if you get your fingers in there. So that's what this thumb piece is for. But when there's really big knots, and stuff in their ears or they've really gotten some some cockaburs or things like that uh, this is what I use and of course along with the scissors so I just keep these these three things with me all the time some people swear uh, by this stuff that they spray on horse tails and if they if you spray that and just treat your dog's hair with that some people do it as preventative and, and, they, and they put it on uh, and just brush it into their hair just every once in a while and just kind of it makes their hair more silky and it takes the coarseness out of out of their hair and, and when burrs and stuff do get in a dog's hair they pull out easier so i just thought i'd give you a little tip and all and i'll throw this thing in it's all chewed up but these are this just wonderful bones that really keep their teeth clean Again, I have no idea what they're called either, but they kind of look like a little fork uh, antler on, on a deer. But I think I mentioned that before, how Annabelle's teeth were really getting ready to clean, and Carly got these, and all of a sudden she was just constantly working on this bone. And I looked at her teeth again, and her teeth were all clean, so I didn't even need to take her into the vet. But uh, these are a bugger when you step on them. So in the night, if the dog has them on the, on the floor and you step on them, because right here, when they chew on them, they, they, they get really sharp. And after a while, when they get really like that, I, I just throw them away and I, I start them up with the fresh one. So those are just little tidbits here and there. And uh, it won't be long and you'll be getting your pup.